Hi everyone, this is Autopostrophe. Let's continue our game of Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition in 4K. Okay. All set for boarding? Yeah. Well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah. Let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. <laughs> See, he even got that guy who thinks the chocobo theme is catchy. Chapter 11, In the Dark. Ignis's resolve forces a reconciliation between Noctis and Gladius and restores harmony to the group. With renewed vigor, the four friends reboard the train and head for Tenebrae, home of the late Lady Luna Freya. Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh, is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. 
Seen that with our own eyes. I happen to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. Are, buddy did you see this oh, it's unreal yeah uh, can you show me that for a little longer I really didn't get a good look they say that in college a lot never seen anything like it doesn't make any sense. Oh, oh the pulled pork tacos disagree What's with you? What's going on? It's a real mystery. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't dream something like this if I tried. It's a wondrous world. What the hell are Whoa, you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't see that coming. You all right? Shut up! Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? It's not him, I don't know why they're even going through this. Show yourself! Ah, uh, knocked. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Come on, knocked. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing around, okay? You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? I've got you now. What are you after, following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Eh, yeah, not really. What? Are you saying it's not? Yes. What good would it do me to hurt Who you? Who cares? Noct, please. Can't we talk for a sec? Never. <laughs> Did it crash or is it loading? You can never really tell. Uh, Esculo, the deserts of the western continent have been littered with imperial armories and outposts. The slaying of the Glacian, however, gave birth to a paradoxical phenomenon. Snow fields and sand dunes co uh, coexisting mere miles apart. Noctis and his friends would be wise to flee this treacherous terrain post haste.
Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Arden? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. Attempting to blow up the train. Take them down before they get too close. If the train takes so much damage, the game is over. Thing you! Yeah. 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 Company! Yeah. Sure do. Let the party yeah. begin! Yes. What are the odds we'll win? Yeah. Yeah. He's back on his feet! Look! They're hot on our tail! They're gonna 
gonna blow us to bits! What if we blow him up first? <laughs> How's that now? Shoot him. Oh, that is an idea! What, no pictures this time? Huh. Chapter 12, End of Days. Arden uses a stitch in time to switch appearances with Prompto, and tricks knocked into hurting his closest friend. Nevertheless, the king pushes ever onward, accepting the consequences and never looking back. He's like, eh, oh well. <laughs> he was only one of my best friends, but move on. <laughs> what if they're serving ice cream there? Mm -hmm. Quests. There are two kinds of quests. Main quests and side quests. Main quests advance the story, while side quests promote exploration and offer additional bonuses. So just your active quests from the main menu. If you can't oh. now. Damn it. What's wrong? Ignis, you've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. And things just got worse. Oh, 
have all these close thermals. Let's see if these things just drop on the ground. Well, look who's here. Horanea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. I want to thank the designer of your pants. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? Oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Yeah, one time I, I got this uh, eyelash in my eye. It really hurt. Oh, maybe that's not the same thing. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. <sighs> we lost track of him. Is he dead? I... I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> You mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers, Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. 
I can take a lickin'. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right. Especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house flore. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. So, you've cut your ties with the Empire? Yeah. The only way we could help the people was by leaving the army. Lady A would about had it with them, as it were. Lady A? Aranea, the Commodore. Ah. Nothing but demons in the capital. Meanwhile, the Crystal's just sitting there. No one in the army signed up for this. What about the civilians? Hold up in their homes. They're either lying quiet behind closed doors or lying dead. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shove off. Shall we? Yeah. Also, be like, kind of miss wearing that magic armor. The Chancellor is running some service. Even though it didn't allow for the uh, individual faces to uh, to show, uh, it looked cool. <laughs> That's like half of this game is what looks cool. My word, is that you, Prince Noctis? I, uh, yeah. Have we? Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Flore. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis II will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis II? Already, 
My flesh has begun to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. And we spent so little time with her, I, I just wish there was more. Uh, but I guess there's DLC coming. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. The music doesn't dis disappoint either. I'd say uh, a lot of design work and the music are, are some of the best in the series. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah? They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. sometime is to go through Final Fantasy XIV, the UFO, and to go through that story. I'd, uh, I'd lost uh, a lot of my gameplay when I played it initially, because I was using uh, uh, Elgato product. Prince Noctis! Yeah? Prince Noctis, were, were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. Yeah, that's still true nowadays. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. to be together with Noctis again. Even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. I feel like those dresses are awesome. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. Not That's that not true, is it? No, not at all. Uh, 
you know, the suit's pretty snazzy too, but it's just a suit. You can't deviate too far from how the suit's designed. Will we ever see the dawn again? That was looking ridiculous. <gasps> what has become which of also our means world? that they kind of all look the same. Ah, the ring. Before falling into eternal slumber, the six bequeathed unto man one last ring. A tre or treasure, a ring. Yet who among us was to was fit to possess this gift of the gods? After some time, the ring was transferred to the hands of a man blessed with power divine, ultimately developing the mark identifying one fit to rule. I'm so happy I jumped up reading that. How in the world could something like this happen? Perhaps this is the way it ends. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open, if you need a break. Some food before you go? I'm ready to take your order. Okay. Chicken nuggets, I'm fine. Oh, like five years old. Chicken nuggets and a cookie. We'll see you around. Aranea girl is an Imperial, isn't she? Yes, but she's not with the army. Not anymore, at least. I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. So you're Lady Lunafreya's fiance, right? Want to know something? Okay, then. Everyone knows she liked pretty flowers, but you want to know what else she liked? Cool stickers. 
It has to be true. Shall we shove off then? Climb aboard. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. Corpus Rift, a frozen ravine where the fallen Shiva lies, a solitary railroad carved through its unforgiving snowscape. The Biggs and, with Biggs and Wedge driving, the train makes its slow and steady way towards the Imperial capital. I think my only problem with my plan to go <laughs> to play 14 again is uh, starting all over. Uh, man. <laughs> that game is no fun to start over with. <clears throat> I mean, people do it all the time, but uh, not me. Oi! And attention all passengers! We're on our way to our final destination in the Imperial Capital! Enjoy the ride! I hope that you don't ship anything out of Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Once we get through Gorovas, we're there. We've come quite a long way. Depressing when it's always dark out. Still dark. Seems there's scarcely anything left of day. It's all gone wrong.
Fall Lamper, after his, his forces suffered crippling casualties against the Hydrian and Altissa, High Commander Ravis Nox Fleure was sentenced to capital punishment. However, the Imperial Army has yet to appoint a successor to the late Lord Fleure. Moreover, waves of magic troopers have gone haywire, uh, gone haywire have fled Hollis Armory and began assaulting the citizenry. Could this be the karmic retribution of those who turned their backs on the gods? Could this be? Hey, what's up? Okay, thanks for letting us know. Could be this time. Attention, yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped as for the cause. Outside the creek. We'll take a look. Oh, no. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. It's freezing. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out here. Warm up in here. Snappy.
Hey, knocked! <sighs> What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, again. They're in a sack. Right. No way. You! Hold it! Oh, that son of a bitch. Are you gonna get fooled again? What the hell? Stop! Stop, damn it! Where is he? Where's Prompto? Oh, there you are. I'm worried about your friends. They've fallen and they can't get up. Why not lend them a hand? A coldness that can only be hers. this star since time immemorial, each of a different mind, but united by this common purpose. The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the pyre burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the frost bearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some anonymous men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped to build. But the six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm. And, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins, their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. Days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep, the pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bear. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the fallen hordes. Those masses 
are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. The star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. You keep wearing that outfit, yeah. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. When the boy begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. It's my choice. If only... If only I could... hear his voice once more. You know you have a cell phone, right? If we could laugh together as we... did as children... Out our days together as we once dreamed. Watch me over your Wherefore your does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may, it is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The God's favor and the Lady's love shall be with him evermore. They're talking to a third person that drives me crazy. Thus it is promised between the Oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even... When you needed me most, there was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now, I never had the chance. I'm so sorry.
hold you down. I know you won't. The glacier. No. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. the right to call you not. For a moment I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me nevertheless. My feelings at least. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah! I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go then. I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> Chapter 13, Redemption. Having stolen Nox country, uh, Nox's country, Crystal and Cherish companions, Arden waits implacably in Gralia. Oh, yes, I think this is the chapter from hell. <laughs> this is the not fun at all chapter. And the last two chapters have just been story oriented. Yeah, not a lot of the gameplay. We should be drawing close to Gralia. Yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but you knew that. <laughs> Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zegnortus, an Imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So, are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, 
but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. The hell? What is it? My guess. Something to sidetrack us. matter of time before we run out of room to run. Got a better idea? We trade the train for the regalia. Come on! On my way! Knocked! The freight car! Keep moving! Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. City defense system has begun sealing all entrances. Make it uh, into Growlia before the gate closes. Put the pedal to the metal. That's the idea. Don't crash. Thanks for the tip. Where are we now? Inside a tunnel. On the train tracks. Don't slow down, or they'll catch us up! Go as fast as I can! Hang on! That's all she's got. It'll do. Seriously marching into the capital empty-handed. And with no assurances, the Crystal can beat back the Demon Hordes. 
Guess we'll find out the hard way. No turning back now, right? <laughs> This thing could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Come on, this way. Hey! Hey, guess! Gladio! Uh, who you follow? Not just the phone number. I'm glad I sent the guest. It'll be easy. Guess I'll follow Noctis? Yeah, sure. Chapter 13, verse 2 is now available. Access by switching to Gladios at uh, Doratoriums. Can I say it? Look at you, all fine learning someone. <laughs> you again. You know, for an Imperial Chancellor, you were one sick son of a bitch. Demons, the hell do you want? Leave me alone! Out of hand. Good one to save in a video game. Huh. Let me just turn the feature off. Yeah, good idea. Genius, Mr. Designer. Harbored with the ring of Lucy, uh, Lucy, uh, Arcana encompasses three powerful spells. The first of these is Death, which drains false life force to restore your own. Let me get in here. No, still no saving, jerks. Where I just respect somebody's bladder. Looks like it's connected below. Might be my ticket to the top. switches to power up doors and elevators in order to continue on to the Gnatus Keep, where the crystal's being held. Now go.
And that's the way to the elevator taken care of. Holy counters with a blast of sacred light when evading, making it effective against melee enemies. Cast a spell just before an attack, lands, deal more damage. Save manu manually at dormitories found throughout uh, Grelia, uh, Grelia and Zignata's Keep. Huh. Should be safe to rest here. Save in a game. Uh, this is not a pass for you watching Final Fantasy 15 on uh, PC in 4K. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.